The day before he's slated to represent Taiwan at the APEC Leaders Summit in Lima, Peru, James Song sat down with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry for a private meeting. Song opted not to disclose the details of his meeting with Kerry, preferring to focus on his trade agenda instead. It was another example of the PFP chairman's disciplined PR approach that reportedly convinced China not to block his attendance as Taiwan's envoy. James Song didn't bite when asked whether he and Kerry had touched on cross-strait relations during their closed-door meeting, nor was he particularly expansive when responding to a question on whether they had breached the topic of future Taiwan-U.S. relations. Everyone knows that the incoming U.S. administration has been busy with transition work since the election, which is why Kerry wouldn't be able to elaborate on the subject of how the U.S. might move forward on relations. Song also declined to comment directly on cross-strait relations himself. According to one report, Song's tight-lipped, low-profile approach ahead of the trip was one reason why China was ready to tolerate his attendance at the summit. I don't want to use terms like low-profile and high-profile. I think you just have to sing the right song and make sure you're not off-key. This time, my basic tune is economy and trade. Attention has now turned to how an encounter between Song and Chinese President Xi Jinping might come about after reports that the two sides would make direct contact.